Imagine that you've dedicated countless hours to studying for your exams. You've put in so much effort and you've sacrificed so much time just to get the results that you want. But then when the exam day comes, you choke. Your mind goes completely blank and you struggle to recall even the simplest facts. You start panicking and wasting precious time and you're wondering if everything that you've done was all for nothing. You see, everyone's talking about all these study tips and all these study routines that's gonna get you top grades, but no one's actually telling you how you can do the exam at your best performance, which is what I'm going to share with you in this video. I'm not gonna waste any more of your valuable time, so I'm going to give you an actionable step that you can do right now. This technique is called visualization and it can really help you gain that confidence that you need for the exam. This technique is used by top athletes around the world to achieve peak performance and I'm going to show you how you can use this to ace your exams. So to visualize yourself completely crushing your exams, here's three things that you need to do. The first thing is you need to set a clear goal. What specific aspect of the exam do you want to improve? Is it like your writing speed? Is it like your nervousness, your time management? What is it? Whatever it is, you need to keep that in your mind when doing this visualization. Step number two, you need to create a detailed mental image. Try and include as many senses as possible to replicate the real thing that you're gonna do. So for example, when I'm in the exam, I like to visualize myself looking down at the exam paper with my pen in my right hand and how that feels, how that looks. Maybe you want to visualize how the exam room looks around you or like the timer on the wall or that clock or whatever it is. Just try and paint a detailed mental image in your mind. This brings us to step number three, which is to repeat the visualization many times. Now, you don't have to do this every single day. Just try to do it as frequently as possible. If you have a night routine, you can implement it into your night routine. Here's another really important tip that's almost never talked about, which is your diet on the day of the exams. So what should you be eating or rather, what should you not be eating during the day of the exam? You should not be eating any carbs on the day of the exam. No rice, no noodles, and especially no sugar, bro. Trust me. Because if you eat these things, you're going to get a sugar crash midway through the exam. And trust me, it's not fun. Instead of eating all these carbs, sugar, and junk food, you should be eating protein and veggies. And having that as your breakfast is much better than having a bowl of fucking cereal or some shit. Now, the next thing that will make you confident before the real exam is something that is called positive affirmations. Positive affirmations is like sort of giving yourself a little speech before the exam in order to boost your confidence. I had my computer science exam not too long ago and before that exam, I was super nervous. Like honestly, my heart was beating so fast. My hands were numb and my hands and feet were like shaking, bro. So I calmed myself down using this technique. I was like, hey Matt, listen to me, Matt. You've prepared so much for this exam. You need to trust the hard work that you've put in for this exam. Lastly, during the day before your exam, if you have time, read through your notes and skim through your textbook and just get a general overview of the things that you're gonna be tested on and make sure that you're not missing any important parts. I know this is passive recall and you're not really learning anything, but that's not the point. The point is that you're trying to solidify all the things that you've learned. Also, you can watch revision videos if that's helpful for you. So yeah, I hope you found that video useful. And if you want even more useful information, you can check out my Instagram.